Well, good morning, my friends. Furious 60, breakfast time. And today, uh, I just wanted to start off today's vlog with uh, a little recipe video that we actually, Melissa was making me pancakes um, for Valentine's Day when I woke up, which is really awesome. And we just I showcased the pancakes and I showed you guys that she was making them, but I didn't really explain exactly how they're made. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing this morning, just quickly. Um, they're a little bit modified than the recipe that was found. Um, I actually decreased the almond flour and increased uh, the protein powder that's inside just for a little extra protein and a little bit less fat, especially when cutting. Uh, I thought that was kind of important. Um, so that's exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm mixing up these ingredients, very, very simple. I'm gonna put the, the, the powders first and then I'm gonna put in all the, the liquids after to create moisture and uh, mix it up. So without further ado, let's see what's inside. So we have half a cup of almond flour, three egg whites, half a cup of vanilla Quest protein powder. We have half a cup of Greek yogurt, some vanilla extract for flavor, we have a cookies and cream quest bar that's been microwaved and diced up. We have a little bit of coconut milk. You can use almond milk as well to add a little bit of liquid, um, just to add some moisture and um, mix it up better if needed. And some almond butter right there. All right, simple. Almond flour in, put our protein powder in, and that pretty much concludes our dry ingredients. We're gonna put that protein bar in at the very end. I'm gonna put our Greek yogurt in, like so. Ugh. I'm gonna scrape that out in a second because I'm using one hand here. A little bit of egg white action right here. And then we're gonna open up our vanilla extract, which takes about one hand right there. And put a little bit of a dash right there. All right, so as you can see, I mixed all the ingredients and it's a little bit too thick of a paste. So we add just a little bit of this coconut milk, not too much because we don't want it too watery. I'm gonna mix it up and see what it looks like. All right, that looks like a way better consistency than before. We're gonna throw in our protein bar here, flakes, all throughout here. And we're gonna mix that up and then get the frying pan going and then that'll be it. Look at those pancakes. Don't those look awesome? And they're delicious and healthy and full of protein, man. That is, those look good. I'm impressed by uh, unburning skills, non-burning skills. And there we go, my friends. Pancakes, it's simple, super, super easy. Just as long as you know the ingredients and know how to mix it up and know how to turn on a pan, it's, it's really not hard whatsoever. All right, this turned out a little bit less dry. In the first one. No offense to Melissa. Freaking awesome. She followed the recipe. But I highly recommend following this one. It's a little bit less dry, which is awesome. I also added one extra egg white uh, from the recipes that are online. Um, you know, I get I get all these recipes from um, this one, for example, was from questnutrition.com. Um, their, their YouTube channel also has a ton of really, really cool recipes here and there. Like, I've done their meat lasagna as well just making a protein lasagna, high protein lasagna, you know, noodles being high protein and everything. So um, they've done some really, really cool recipes. So check them out. Um, also, if you're interested in any Quest products, I got a link in the description. Um, you can get 10% off um, any Quest products that they sell on their website. So fresh to go right to you. Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to enjoy these pancakes. Then get my day started. So just stopped in at my post office and uh, I check my P.O. box almost every day for for everything. Um, and today I got a package and I'm pretty sure I know what this is because it's supposed to be sent to me. It's a sample. I was going to take a look at it. Um, they didn't put my logo on them. They're supposed to put my logo on them. Um, they're called the Cyclone Shakers. Uh, have you guys used them before? Um, I'm thinking about, I don't know, I like my shaker bottles that I use, um, the only issue that I had was some graphic issues in which you wash them too many times, it comes off, so, um, we, uh, you know, obviously that could, can get fixed, but the bottle itself is awesome because it never leaks, but these other shaker bottles and everything like that, they might be good, but they're going to cost like two or three times more money 
and I personally don't like to sell shaker bottles at that price. I don't, I don't think it makes sense. Like, if you guys have, you, how many guys, how many of you guys have had a shaker bottle and had to throw it out because you left your protein there overnight, or you put your protein in there, you drank it, and then uh, you left it in your car overnight, or for a few days you just forgot about it, and then you open up that shaker and you smell it. And when you smell it, you feel like you're gonna vomit and die because it's that bad. I don't think there's any worse smell on this planet than day like week old protein powder um, mixed up in your shaker. There's just no worse smell. It just gets, it's terrible. It's absolutely fucking terrible. Um, and so that's why like, I mean, yeah, the shaker bottle might be really good quality, but if you forget about it for a second, it's garbage. Like, there's no going back to washing it and then having the same smell as you had before. No, you're gonna still have that delicious, nasty-ass smell within that shaker. So, um, just some, some thoughts. Maybe I'll just have two different kinds, a more premium one and then a, a good shaker kind of thing. I don't know. Eh. Why, why worry about these things? I'm not. We're going to unit. Got to do inventory count um, and, and weigh out some things. And then I'm going shopping. I need chicken, my friends. I need some chicken. Um, it's on sale at No Frills. So I'm stocking up, getting lots of vegetables, and uh, making some meals for myself. I'm excited. I like chicken. Uh, I, like, I like it when it's on sale. All right, got everything weighed out finally. I, I'm predicting this is gonna be the most popular hat, but I could be wrong. Um, I just really think it's cool and dope. Uh, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm always, I'm usually pretty wrong in all this stuff, but got everything in. Got two hours until launch, so that means I have time to go get some food and cook up food. Well, I won't have time to cook, but I'll have time to shop. Let's get some chicken and vegetables, my friends. Some figgy chicken and vegetables. Yeah, I want some of that chicken and vegetable. Chicken and vegetable. I like chicken and vegetables, all right? All right, grocery shopping. Got ourselves uh, some chicken. I bought probably about 10 pounds worth total. Um, getting, I think my parents are gonna probably take like two pounds of this. But I got eight pounds, maybe 10 pounds. No, I, I think I have over 10 pounds. Um, and I'm going to use this 10 pounds until it has to hold me over for the next five and a half days. Um, so that's not too bad, because once I get to Columbus, I'm lucky enough to have meals there. So, but I need to prep some food until then. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick up some water and some other stuff for that the dad wanted. Now this is what I really, really want. The cravings, the cravings are real. I want the, I want it now. All I want right now. All I want. All I want. All I want. I'm also getting some uh, okra. I haven't had this in a while. It's delicious. You never tried it? You should. It's all slimy and there's something about it that's really, really awesome. Alright, so live, live, live. Uh, I'm excited about all this because I love the products that came out. Um, I wanted to address something and it's the fact that... Um, Around release times, I talk about product too much, and it's, I don't do YouTube videos just to sell you guys and things like that, you know, I do YouTube videos because I've loved to do them, you know, I've, it's, it's weird because sometimes you get that mind twist where, you know, you forget, there, there are times, I'm not going to lie, that, you know, you forget that this is, you know, you start on YouTube and you just did this for fun and everything like that, and then business go, gets in the way, and there's times where I just, you know, do months of not giving a shit about business, and then there's months where I have to care, right? Um, and, you know, sometimes they can go hand in hand, but sometimes it just, you get excited about certain things that you've been working on for months, like um, there's hats, there's designs, there's just lots of little things that I've been working on for months and months and months, um, so some of them for the past year, um, and when they finally come out or it's, it's about to get released, you get excited. And then as a result, yes, sometimes I do talk about it too much and I apologize. I apologize because I want you guys to come here and just watch cool content. Um, and, and you know, my everyday life with dieting right now, I just get excited when 
we do release new stuff because I haven't released new stuff in a long time, like a big release. So I got excited about these products. So I just wanted to once again say that, you know, sorry if I do go over the top and start talking about this stuff. It's not because I want to sell you guys. It's because I want to create cool shit and I get really excited about it. If nobody likes it, but I love it, that's that 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 means a lot. That still means a lot to me. You know, if as long as I like it, that's and and I'm proud of what I've created. Um, that that's the most important part to me. Um, and that 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 goes alongside with a lot of stuff. If you're proud of the stuff that you're doing, um, whether it is fitness wise or career wise, but and you're happy, but other people aren't, then that shouldn't matter, right? As long as you're happy. Anyways. Um, that is done. I don't need to. I won't be talking about this anymore because it's all released. You saw the whole process, counting stuff, getting inventory, uh, putting it all away, uh, figuring out what is what, figuring out what you can't sell because sometimes some shit comes in shit, um, and then um, you know photos, everything, right? But it is done. Um, I get to do a lot of editing this weekend, which is fun. Um, a lot of writing, which is fun. So a lot, very going to be a very, very productive weekend. Uh, I'm excited for it. So uh, yeah, but tonight uh, we're still going to do a little bit of gym. We'll see how that goes. We're going to work on mobility and flexibility as well. All right, so food prep time. I got a chicken breast on the pan. I bought lots of chicken breasts, as you guys saw, and no frills, and then I bought okra. Um, so I'm doing a little makeshift way of making it. Normally I would boil it, throw it in some cold water and everything, but I need my food fast. I need to eat this up and head to the gym. So um, we're going to cover this up, and it should be ready in like a couple more minutes. All right, gym time. Mom is here. She's going to work out as well. Uh, I didn't put away my weights from yesterday. I'm not nice. I'm not. That's not nice of me. Huh? Okay. Uh, that's not nice of me, but I gotta put them away before we start. A little squats, a little leg press. Um, I'm gonna start off with leg press. I'm gonna let the mom squat, uh, and then I'm gonna see how I feel. I'm doing a lot of stretches. Uh, it's mostly gonna be. It's gonna be some weird stretches. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film them, but basically what I'm gonna be doing is. Uh, Going like this, up against the wall. Oh wow, that feels so good. I basically, I need to work on my mobility, my flexibility, and so that's that's something that I need to work on. I think a lot of people need to work on, so we're all gonna work on it together. Um, I know some experts in this field, so uh, I'm gonna get them into a Furious 60 episode. Um, there's a couple of them, and they're, they're gonna teach us, teach us a thing or two. Um, we're gonna turn up the heat a little bit in here, guys just so that we're not freezing cold while we're working out. It's good to be cool, but not cold. We are doing a little bit of leg press. Oops, my friends. A little bit of leg press. Finding it so much easier with knee sleeves. Um, doing a little leg press. Just getting a nice warm up. Um, I find that this is amazing. You can do like 200 reps, 300 reps, and the legs just get so warm that sometimes squats, yeah, they're gonna be difficult, but they're gonna be so much more warmer. Just sometimes just easier to get them up. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna do some front squats. My, my shoulder's still a little weird. A uh, little leg action. My legs aren't small or anything. My calves, you know, I can build up, but still got some mass on here. Good workout. Uh, gonna head home now. That's it. That's it. Didn't really showcase too much, but I clearly trained. Listen, I don't lie. I don't lie if I train. That's it. Time to go home, my friends. Here's a shot of the legs. Don't want to pull this up because then you're gonna, just going to see some, some interesting action, but that's a cool shot. Legs are pumped up right now. Feels good. This is one thing that I love. Uh, as I was saying, um, during... What's up, what's up, buddy? Hey, how are you? Doing a little stretch, huh? Uh, there's one thing that I love. It's uh, milk. Uh, but almond milk will do just the trick. I like it just because um, there really is no carbs inside, you know, for every cup and everything. There's one one gram of carbs, and it's not even sugar. So uh, that's why it's, it's awesome. Obviously, there's no protein or anything, but it's that flavor, and I love it. I just love it. So... Um, this is like a treat for me, and when this stuff goes on sale, I buy a bunch of it, so I have it. 
Um, so I'll be drinking a bunch of this. I'm gonna I get the no sugar added unsweetened one, original one. Some the vanilla one actually has uh, same amount of calories, no sugar as well. I mean, they just put some vanilla extract in there or whatever. Um, but this one is good. I don't know. I bought two different types of companies today. I'm gonna be testing them out. They cost the exact same amount of money. So um, what was it? It's two fifty for two liters. It's pretty good. It's two bucks American for two liters, so dollar a liter. That's pretty good. Cooking up some alkaline noodles. These are like no calorie noodles. I haven't tried these before. I'm curious what they're gonna taste like. So I added a little bit of eggs to the mixture and it was actually pretty good. I ate some of the noodles and everything. Um, it's tasty. It's weird. It's a little tastes kind of like plastic or texture, but overall pretty good. I'm pretty sure my battery's gonna die, but I'm gonna try and say this anyways. Um, as I'm looking if the camera dies and it dies um, but I posted a, a shot a leg shot and it's so funny that if a dude posts up a leg shot like that then criticize and everything like put on some pants a chick does it boner alert like take off more kind of thing you know it's just showing progress and everything like that didn't show anything you know made sure my pants were covered my boxers were covered and everything so I don't know it's it's the internet nowadays in the world nowadays so um, whatever showed some progress didn't like it I apologize I'll call it a night you guys stay sexy stay hungry and of course get laid.